Well, I'm Chris, and this is my Harbor Freight Yukon 48 inch workbench or work table workstation. Now, this is a light duty. Now, these are flimsy. This is considered, I would say, a three out of 10 for this table strength. But if you want something, you're going to have to spend the money. This is $119. I got it with a $99 coupon. For example, this one right here, this is about $300, 350 Okay, this is a fold down and it has a real nice workbench with a bunch of support. So don't go crying and complaining because you wanted to cheap out and now you're mad. I know what this is and I've seen them and I like them. If anything, worst case scenario, we would beef that up with some kind of wood top right there. But let's check it out. This is a 1999 Chevy P42 X Snap-on truck. And I'm going to start doing all my RC car stuff in here. And we're trying to get organized. So I wanted it here, but we have that freaking fender hump. So I'd rather modify that than to modify the desk. It should fit right here. The box is heavy. I had to carry this thing probably an eighth of a mile to the back of my property where this truck is. And the first thing that caught me off with this thing completely are these big pieces are particle board with that Mylamar, Mymar, whatever that freaking covering. The covering is cool, but i thought this was an all steel desk from what i remember you cannot mount this thing in any type of area that gets moisture i wouldn't even recommend this for a garage we are in an insulated snap-on truck so that's the first thing you need to know about this now i did just buy this in june of 2024 in houston texas maybe the older ones are metal somebody please let me know because i'm not liking that so we have everything laid out you kind of see what's going on here now the thickness of this it's not as bad as people say like i said if you want something better buy one of these right here this will last you a lifetime now the problem with thin metal as i learned with that cheaper toolbox right there it rusts out a lot faster and i'm going to say it more than once you do not want this in a garage that gets moisture you're going to ruin this thing in a year we have another particle board or press board piece the structure of the desk seems fine it's thin gauge, but it's, in my opinion, it's good enough for what it is. Hold up, hold up, hold up. With the LED light, man, dude, if this light works like it should, then we need to just shut up about the quality of this thing and just enjoy it. I started at 4 p.m. I'm going to be giving 15 minute updates. As you can see how I have the screws just thrown out right here. The instructions right here, building it right here. So a little bit of advice is I just kind of hand screw everything together. Everything is super loose. I don't tighten anything until it looks like the step next is going to cover it up so all that's loose and sloppy because you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to get those bolts started in those holes if you tighten everything up so don't tighten anything up look ah, it's got stabbed with that see how everything's still loose and sloppy and yes you're going to have to go back and tighten every single bolt it's not but that's going to make it so much easier all right so we reached our first screw that's hard to get in i'm not being a little crybaby but it did happen i just want to prepare people when the hole doesn't line up perfect like that there's a tool called an awl or you could get a screwdriver or phillips and you're just going to try to go in there and line that hole up this one was not aligning let's get a good screwdriver or a ratchet and we kind of got to just force it in there a little bit it'll go this kind of stuff is completely normal happens all the time but don't freak out there's nothing wrong with that it's going to go together just right so it wants the power cord on that side but this is against the wall so i'm going to put it on this side hopefully it doesn't affect anything so 30 minutes in that's where we are okay 44 minutes in so at this point right here that's when i went back and tightened every screw down you're going to encounter your first step where you're going to need some kind of weird tool to get to these they're kind of hard to get to inside there this is what i use you could use a ratchet see how it's kind of like in there so this is the main part of the build this is the one you need to focus on the most you might have to loosen these up a little bit to get the drawers adjusted that's what we're about to do we got to put the little handles on them like that so you see we got the little rubber feet on the bottom all this is going together real smooth let me get those drawers in well we'll check in in 15 minutes so we are one hour into this exactly and just remember when you do the pegboard the screws go in from the reverse side and it's using bag c they're a little bit longer okay so hour 15 minutes in and we reach our first stupid thing and i want you to see that right there avoid this at all costs so what i was trying to do on the front end right here was trying to get that screw flush so i tried tightening it as i tightened it it just busted that little covering off so i'm glad i did it on the first one because we're going to put that 
on the bottom and flip it around. That's scary right there because at some point, moisture, oil, grease is gonna go in there and it's gonna bubble it up. So that's a, a huge fail for this little workbench that kind of makes it trash in a way. And it's got them all the way around. I don't remember seeing those on the other desks that I've seen. So it's not the end of the world. All it means is that you would have to upgrade this piece right here. When we destroy this one, we are gonna put a lighter color top like this one on here. So if this video gets some views and people like it, then we'll do a custom top on it. I kind of want to already do it. Can I already know this is just going to get freaking destroyed? Probably like my first month. All right. So the hardest part for me so far is getting this plug on there. Put the brackets on from the top like that. Kind of loose. And then hopefully slide this piece in. And you're going to have to do this with a drill. These screws are really, really hard to get started. You see that's a little sketchy but i'm gonna leave it like that because it is secured in there 100 percent but we're focused with that right there it fits in there perfect i delicately put those two in there without messing it up and then i looked right here that was already like that that was already like that and please if somebody knows that they used to make these out of metal and they started with this wood because i've looked at these before and i, I never noticed that wood i would have noticed this kind of crap so we're just going to take a little sharpie just do this for right now so it doesn't just stand out like it is. It's just bothering the crap out of me. It looks so bad. There is no way to repair this. It's just screwed up. So let me get those drawers in there and we'll give it a final review with the light on it. Okay, so it took me a total of two hours. That's getting the box in here, opening it, and finishing it. Now, what are my final thoughts on this? For $100, I absolutely love it. It's awesome. For $120, like it normally is, I don't know. So we understand like before if you want some heavy duty this is 300 to 400 dollars right here this is freaking awesome i got this on offer up for 150 dollars. there was no way in the world i was not gonna get it so we have a nice finished table we have trash table i was going to put a table on this one anyway like this because i knew this would be a little too flimsy and i have a piece of aluminum i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet to it but see that piece of aluminum on the floor i have another one and i think i'm going to just put that over it and i think that'll take this workbench to the next level for sure as long as it doesn't get wet it'll be fine harbor freight sells those little hooks but i forgot to get them like those little accessory hooks the bottom shelf is the same piece as this and it's fine down there very cool that it has that the desk is sturdy or workbench is sturdy in my opinion but for light duty stuff probably the worst thing about it are the drawer bottoms they're real thin they feel like maybe like eighth inch some kind of paper cardboard stuff so those are going to sag instantly find some quarter inch three eighths plywood to replace that once they start blowing out because they will i'm going to have to put some in here because this is where all my rc tools are going to go that's why i wanted this desk so i could just open get my freaking tools use them and then the pegboard is going to be like critical parts when you're restoring or rebuilding like that little section right there and eventually i'm going to turn this snap-on truck into an rc shop on wheels that's why i'm trying to make it look more professional i'm not going to quit my day job but you know just to have everything in here so they don't have to come up in my house or come to my shop we can just do the business right here that's actually where i first saw this desk was a guy had a storage unit and he was selling stuff on offer up and i went to go buy something from him and his had one of these in there it was like his little office and i thought it was so cool and he inspired me so much that i went and got a storage unit to do my ebay and offer up stuff and i'm gonna have a desk like this in there it's just too hot right now i wanted to test it out in here oh yeah this plug right here do not use it is dangerous just throw this in the trash unless yours fits tight i was all excited i noticed it was loose that is going to cause arcing in there and it's going to if you ever seen the one like with a big black burn place this is going to melt this is absolute garbage don't use it if it's loose that's trash so we have the led just hooked into an extension cord it's got a switch on it let me turn the lights off i have big leds in this snap-on truck we only have one on freaking all rain in that barrel storm is trying to mess houston up all right so you reach under here okay no, I tested it out earlier with the big LED on and it does help a lot. So I really like that it has that light. I mean, that took care of a lot of issues. You don't have to go hunt one down. Is it the most powerful? No, I would definitely upgrade that once it starts flickering and going bad. But for 
for it to come with that is freaking awesome so if this video gets some views we'll have a video putting this over it it's the same width but i don't have enough space up here so i'm gonna have to modify mine and bring this down a few inches so remember this thing cannot be around moisture if it does you're gonna swell the top up real bad like crazy all around it all this is gonna get swelled up that's gonna get distorted these right here are just gonna blister up so this is more of a dry place we're in a snap-on truck so this snap-on truck is fully insulated the humidity does not get in here that's why i have all my rc stuff in here so i don't have to have them in the house for what i'm gonna do rc stuff on it this thing is 100 percent perfect uh, if this video gets some views or you people comment they want to see more we can do a top for this i want to do a top like this or that aluminum piece and give you some kind of ideas on your options because this right here working on these nitro cars that fuel is going to seep in there oil is going to seep in there and it's going to blister this table up like crazy it's going to look like trash i guarantee you in less than a month so i went crazy in the nitro rc and this is going to be my new setup and we're going to have that kind of shelving all the way down i'm ripping all this stuff out so far i'm liking it a lot this thing is going to be very comfortable in here i got a air conditioner 14,000 btu i have to build this little wall right here behind that toolbox and i'm just going to have a little flappy gate right here to get ac in here it had an ac but it doesn't work and those are very 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 expensive those rv acs i'm gonna say wait till this thing goes on sale for a hundred dollars to buy it because it definitely has some issues with it that need to be corrected but other than that it's cool i love it i really do if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching